wait can we actually do one small test i just want to go for one unit that has a slot four that i can fully remove and then see if this run still works because i think you have a we're going to remove yours and I think if we go to Veramos as well, I think Veramos has a slot 4 which has no speed. Okay, this is the real dank mode. N now we're going real dank mode. So we got 130 crit damage. This one is still 250 and this is 170 crit damage. So th this is true. <laughs> this is the true free to play. So it, it doesn't happen at this run yet, but in the next one. Some said that the 207 Galleon makes sense to lap it constantly. Ah, oh, that's too much effort, man. It's not needed. It's finally something Sean Picker replicate. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, so it will happen next run. So let's see how weak the damages. I think this might be the part where uh, it doesn't really work as you would like it. Oh wait, th this is already... No, the runes already applied. We're already doing like jack shit damage. So yeah, this is about the part where you would say like, okay, it does kind of work, but this is where it gets very tricky. So it was already applied. Wait, are we still running a 1 minute 6? With that kind of rookery damage? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. So the artifacts are still garbage. Lin and Veramos have near to no existing increased damage. And we're still winning. Was it tricky? Yes, it was. Actually, Barky, because of being right element, is going to get hit a lot less hard by the boss, which is definitely a nice addition as well. Yeah, 18k uh, S1 on the Lin, that's, uh, you might as well just replace it for another unit by now. So this is definitely something that everyone should be able to replicate, I guess. Okay, sure, the Akama Mirror still has runes, but hey, we need at least something that does damage. <laughs> uh, 17k S3 on an armor break. Yeah, this is doing absolutely no rookery damage. But yeah, this is... Uh, at least it's faster than your team with like a Laika and that kind of nonsense. Okay, so let's see. We do have a decent rotation in skills that does help out quite some. That's 258k. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> Can Tesha replace Akami? Yeah, technically it can. But yeah, as you can see, this still definitely does work. This this still works. And if you say right now, I cannot make my Lin on the 134 crit rate or crit damage with 100 crit rate, then yeah, you should definitely start farming more. And sure, this is not like it's a free-to-play one, it's for casual players, but this is not like, oh, you just started the game two weeks ago, when it's not even max crit rate. <laughs> But this is not by all means a team which you can say like, oh, I just started playing this game like two, three weeks in and I can build this already. No, it will take some time. You probably need like a decent amount of your towers up. You need a decent amount of like the correct units and that kind of stuff. Uh, Galleon is too fast for me to build. In that case, I recommend you to not go Galleon on Violent. But because I could understand like a Vio uh, 140 is... It's a decent investment to get a 140 uh, Galleon on Vio. Um, the thing is, you can lower the crit rate if that makes it easier for you. That helps out a lot. And you can definitely say like, okay, I don't have those Vio runes. So I just go Shield Broken or even Shield uh, Swift. With Shield Swift, you should definitely be able to replicate this. The main important thing about this whole team is the speed tuning and um, adding actually as much damage as possible to clean out the waves pretty fast with Akamumir. Those are like two very important factors, like that all the speed tunings are correct, and that Akamumir has like enough juice to kill out, because if I would remove this rune, I also wouldn't have the correct speed tuning, so I would fill on that right away. But this thing needs is kind of damage, but then again, as you can see, if I actually drop like a good artifact on this, he starts pretty much one-shotting the waves, and that is definitely the way to go. And as you can see, like, okay, we get a bunch more close to fills, but we're still like one minute, like one minute five, 55 seconds. We're still actually pretty much clearing this whole thing. And it's not even looking that difficult. Too many of those bars. So let's see. We didn't do any jack shit damage to this thing throughout so far right now. We do cleanse that. That's perfect. 
We get another counter. That is also fine because we have that many shield sets. We can actually survive it. You could even say like, hey, I put my Bark Eek on less damage, triple shield. I put my Galleon on double shield something. I put my Veromos on shield rage. Like there's a lot of things that work like this. And to be honest, a Kamamir works better than Tesher. Yes, he does need 15 skill ups, which a lot of people are not going to like. But I would say that Akamamir, you can use him for a bunch of other places as well. And he is just the king of this whole stage in general. Like, to be honest, this thing just does so much work here. Uh, someone's asking for a violin. Wouldn't recommend it. Just add more crit damage. Like, sure, if she does a wrong skill, it's still scaling off enemy max HP. So, for that sense, I would still say that it's useful to just add as much crit damage to it. But I'm actually happily surprised of like how easy it is to run this team. Like, remember, this lane is 137 crit damage right now. Still works. It's pretty much just the Akamamir and like a scuffed, like the Veromos is like 180 crit damage or something right now. It, it's all very scuffed, but it definitely still works. So in this case, it's somewhat tricky that you almost got countered and that kind of stuff. But that's, that's the thing. Wish um, Water Amir for Dragon. Yeah, that would be very nice. Water Amir for Dragon would definitely be very nice. But I wouldn't be surprised if Akama Mir would be useful for other dungeons later on too. Because in the end, if you think about SF or PC or even Necro, we're still going to have probably that factor where they have a lot of HP and very low defense. Akama Mir is the perfect unit for that. It just doesn't work in Dragons. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Kamamir teams for all of the other four except Dragons. But that is something that we would have to see like, see like how that exactly works out. Because in the end, a Kamamir, his S2 is amazing. His S1 is pretty good. And his S3 is crazy good against waves. So with all of that combined, I would say a Kamamir has pretty high value. So Barkeek better than Jolton? Yes, I would say so. For like a little bit damage here and there. Barkeek is better than Jilton, and I think Barkeek might be better than Kyle or the Water Del Seam in general as well. Because he's easier to build, you need 85 crit rate, um, and you also... Okay, in this case, I do get a counter, that's the only bad part about him. He does a little bit too many multi-hits for my liking, but in the end, we stick clear. So, yeah, that's... Uh, you think any of the two A's are going to be good for Abyss? I expect Sync to be good for Abyss as well. But yeah, with that, I talked way too much for this video. It's way too long already. Guys, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. And remember to farm artifacts. I think that's the name of the game right now. Yeah, remember farm artifacts. And I'm actually going to put these fucking troll builds back to proper builds. <laughs> because fuck this shit, man. You need to make a second galleon. Yeah, to be honest, like it's just go for a Galleon Swift with Shield. You're you're already good to go. It doesn't need any damage that much. Just give your Illusion runes to a Kamir and Lin. Not technically, you need more crit damage. Well, for a Kamir, kind of. Wait. Did we just? Did we get an average sub one minute <laughs> while having a Lin? <laughs> Sub a minute while the Lin is having no slot 4 <laughs> and no completed rage set even. Oh, that's insane. Okay, I should take the Lin for uh, the thumbnail. Like most scuffed Lin GB still works. Sub one minute.